Welcome to Vintage Variety. Recently went to an estate sale in the area where my mother lives. As you can see from the picture, it was kind of part yard sale and part estate sale. So I'm going to share the items that I got there with you guys today. Some of them are jewelry and some of them are non-jewelry. I'm going to start out by showing you the non-jewelry items that I found at this estate sale. I found these Blue Willow plates, five dinner plates, and seven saucers. All of these are marked Japan. You can see there's a little bit of crazing on them. These Blue Willow plates that are marked Japan, usually you can run across them online for about five or six dollars a piece. I paid ten dollars for all of these. So I thought it was a pretty good deal and I plan to mix these with my white dinner dishes to kind of make it out to a set. I also ran across this little guy. This is a Pillsbury Doughboy, and just by looking at the back of him, I think this is something that you would have kept spoons in. It says flour, which doesn't make much sense, unless this was used to keep maybe a flour scoop in. He's from 1988, I believe. So this may be something that I don't keep. I may clean him up and eventually put him on eBay. I paid a dollar for him, but someone that collects these might be interested in purchasing it. I ran across this vintage set of salt and pepper shakers. These were three dollars. Bottom it says Federal Houseware, Chicago, 45, Illinois. I don't really know how old these are, but I thought they were pretty neat. They just need to be cleaned up really well. A lot of the items at this estate sale were inside of the house, and some of them were outside of the house. I was leaving, I noticed these on the outside, and I've got to show you guys these hats. These are absolutely awesome. Look at this one. It still has the tag on it. I'm guessing that the lady that owned it never wore it. This came from a Belk store. Can't really tell what she paid for it. It looks like 30 and then 19. It's been marked through. This really reminds me of Jacqueline Kennedy when I run across hats like this. This is another one. All of these were in this one hat box and the lady let me have all of these for $3. This one has little flowers on the outside of it. This one's kind of flat. Notice a lot of these hats like this will have this netting on them. Sometimes I'll run across them and the netting's torn off of them, but these were in excellent condition. I have plans for these. It'll be a while before I show you what I'm gonna do with them, but it will be an upcoming content, and I think you guys will really get a kick out of what I use these for. Pottery bowl. It's quite heavy. I believe this is by Kathy Hale. Look some of her stuff up. So these are collectible. I plan to use it as a salad bowl. My cousin lives in the area where this estate sale was and she had told me about it. The day that I had planned to attend, I had something come up. We're trying to do some work on our house just a little at a time as we can afford it. And I was supposed to have an electrician come out. I ended up waiting for them all morning and they finally contacted me in the afternoon, canceling. I was really disappointed. There were a lot of good pieces of jewelry and other items that I missed out on. But my cousin just so happened to purchase a few items for me. The purse, this is not something she got at the estate sale. This was a gift from her. She knows that I like to collect vintage and antique purses. This one's got a little bit of staining on the inside, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it. Art Hong Kong. She also picked up four brooches that she gave to me. So I'm gonna show those to you guys first. This one is a really pretty cameo. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is Mark Jerry's. one's also marked. It needs a good cleaning. Unfortunately, I can't tell what the marking is on this brooch. I'll zoom in on it. If anybody recognizes that, you can let me know. 
This brooch can be worn as a pendant or a brooch. The pearl has a little bit of wear on it, but that's something that I could always replace. Other than that, I think it's a really pretty brooch. She picked this up because she thought it looked really old. It says mother. I don't see any markings on it. She chose this beautiful rhinestone brooch. This is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna show you the brooches that I picked out. There were a few necklaces, but mostly everything they had ended up being brooches. The one necklace that I did get was this rhinestone necklace. Isn't that pretty? It's not missing any rhinestones. And it has a fold over clasp. I did check this for markings. I don't see any markings on it. But this is the only piece of jewelry that I got that wasn't a brooch. They had these brooches in these little baggies and they had used a push pin and pinned them up to a push pin board. The lighting in there wasn't that great. So I just picked the brooches that I got by the way they looked on the front. Some of them I flipped over and I could tell they were signed, but I couldn't really tell what the signature mark was on most of them. So that's what we're gonna look at today. As I show them to you, I'll tell you why I chose them. I'm gonna start with this first one. Most of you will automatically know why I chose this brooch. It is a vintage floral brooch, and I love these. these floral brooches, I had noticed just watching on eBay that they had became really popular for a while. I haven't checked on there recently, they probably still are, but I thought this one was in really good condition. It's not marked, but I love floral brooches. Now notice, it looks like, if you can see this little piece of chain, it looks like it was tangled up with a necklace. Um, so I'm gonna have to unravel this piece of chain that's hung on it. I also picked this one up, and I would not have purchased this if I would have realized that it was missing the center stone. As I mentioned before, the lighting in there wasn't really good, so I didn't notice that. I could probably replace this with a pearl. This is a Sarah Coventry brooch, and the stone that was in the center of it should have been like these smaller stones. So this may be one that I just simply replace and put a pearl into. But there's the signature mark on the back, Sarah Coventry. This little rhinestone snowman, this one has the pin back, the straight pin back on it. But I liked this in really good condition and I just thought he was adorable. Another floral brooch, needs a little bit of cleaning right there. Otherwise it's in excellent condition. It's not marked. Again, I picked this one. As most of you know, I love collecting floral brooches. Another cameo brooch. It's also a Jerry's. There's a larger brooch and a smaller brooch, and I thought these would be really cute for summertime. Wear on a dress. You could even put them on a hat or a purse. I found two butterflies, and I thought these were really pretty. I really liked the way this little guy looks. His antennas are a little bit wonky, but that's okay. This beautiful purple one. Both of these are unmarked. Thought they would be cute to add to my collection of figurals. And I also thought they would be really pretty to wear during the summertime. This is one that I picked up because I noticed it was marked on the back. This is an Avon brooch. This one, I noticed that it was missing some of the pearls on it. I went ahead and bought it for a couple of reasons. First of all, this is an easy repair. Second reason I picked it up is this is a Napier. I do have a collection of Napier jewelry, so I did want this to go with that collection. It just looked very retro to me. This is another Christmas brooch. The reason I picked this one up is this is a Monet show you on the back where it's marked. So there were a few of these that I could actually read the marking. This was one of them and the Napier was one. This will be added to my collection of Monet jewelry. Speaking of Monet jewelry, I also wanted to mention, 
I've had a couple of comments lately about the sound quality in some of my older videos. When I first started YouTubing and making videos, I had a really difficult time with the sound. Something that I'm aware of and I do apologize. If I knew how to go back and do something to fix that sound, I certainly would. I simply don't know how. I'm not the most computer savvy person. This reminded me that I did content on Monet Jewelry. That content, halfway through it, the sound completely disappears. So that is content that I'm probably going to redo and do an updated version of showing some pieces that I did not show in the first content. These three little brooches were in a baggie together. There's nothing really wrong with this one that I can tell. It needs to be cleaned. It looks like it's wear, but I think that's all gonna polish right out. Then it had this one in it. This is a little ceramic brooch. Looks like a shoe. An angel scatter pin. This is the one that actually caught my eye. I liked it. Disappointingly, it is broken and I thought I could repair it until I looked at the back and saw that this was completely broken off. This may end up as a necklace pendant or something different, but I thought this was really pretty. Last pieces that I'm gonna show you, these are all figural brooches. This one is quite large. Look at this cute little frog. This is a Kramer. It's a really good brand to collect. A Jelly Belly Cat. And I think this one, yes it is. This one's also marked. Another Jerry's. An elephant brooch. This is a Sarah Cove. I have a collection of Sarah Coventry jewelry, so this will go with that collection. Last piece that I'm gonna show you guys is this cute little monkey. I just thought he was absolutely adorable. I love figural jewelry. And he's also signed Jerry's. So there were quite a few pieces by Jerry's. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.